So after years of talking to my pops about Linux, I finally got him to go down and install it on one of his laptops. What's up guys, this is Josh back with another video. And today I kind of wanted to do a video just showing you guys how to customize Ubuntu 22.04 a little bit. I'm not gonna go too deep, but what made me wanna do this video, I, I've been talking to my dad for several years about the Linux operating system and just talking to him about how great it is to actually try out. And so he finally had the opportunity to actually install it. And this was due to my mother getting a new laptop. And so he took uh, her old laptop and actually installed Linux on it. And it's super dope. And so I wanted to do a quick video just showing, you know, a little bit of customization. And you can kind of say this video is for him but it's for anybody that's new to linux and i'll be doing a lot of the little customizations in ubuntu 22.04 because that's what i got him to install on his laptop and i mainly want to just cover you know just customizing the look of it a little bit you know what i'm saying like changing up the dock location and doing different things on the system just to help you navigate or set up your system so you can have a good workflow that'll allow you to you know navigate the system properly so let's hop over to my ubuntu virtual machine and let's go through some of these changes okay cool so i'm at my ubuntu 22.04 uh desktop environment obviously this is known 42 uh and i'm not sure this system may need some updates it's a little probably a little behind i haven't updated in a couple days but I just wanted to go down and show you guys a little bit more of the customization. Now I kind of went through this in a previous video, actually when I did the review of Ubuntu 22.04 or like my first look of actually checking out the distribution or the latest LTS. But let's hop over and just show you a little bit more uh, so you kind of probably get the feel of the navigation. But a lot of things that people don't like about gnome is that the dock is over here on the left um, and it you know especially if you're coming over from from windows it's a little bit different especially if it's windows 11 uh, you know how they changed up their dock or panel uh, it's at the bottom and then your start menu is in the middle so in order to make it a little bit better for new users to linux you might want to move this dock down to the bottom and it also will give you that mac os look if you ever you know was interested in owning a mac and you didn't want to pay those absorbent prices that it costs to get one of the laptops then you can kind of make your system look like a mac system you know and first off let's uh just open up the settings and go up in here now this is pretty much where you can make all the changes to the system or the appearance you know of the actual system uh by going into the settings and then you go down to appearance now they do have that light and dark and i believe i showed you guys that on the previous video but just to show you again uh, you got your light accents and then you got your dark accents i mean not accents but dark styles and then you have your accent colors down here and that's what i was going to get to <laughs> that's when i uh said accents but these are your accent colors as you can see it kind of changes up the, the the folder color a little bit as well as what's highlighted like what you have selected so you can change that up you know as you see fit or whatever as well as like the little dot that shows you what application is up you know what i'm saying it changes the color of that so that's pretty much your your accents so to speak now if we go down in here a little bit more it says desktop icons so you can change up your icon sizes right now it's already set to small which is the default which is you know pretty decent you know what i'm saying and basically what that's talking about is and let's minimize this for a second and we'll go back to it but this is your icons right here so you could change up the size of this by under here desktop icons so they have the tiny and let's see if it actually you know shows up all right and as you can see the icon is like super small you know what i'm saying and they may work for people with 
you know good eyesight high resolution and all that good stuff uh, if you want things small and you don't like a lot of things taking up your your desktop you know what i'm saying then you can make it you know tiny because i know when i have my desktop you know i i don't even have it to where i can put things on my desktop on my main system uh and that's mainly because i like it to be clean i like the desktop to be clean um that's just me but i know a lot of people like to have icons you know all over the desktop you can do that you know on your bantu uh but in case you like that you know what i'm saying you can change the size of it right there and then you can also do the position of new icons so it'll go bottom right and then you can change that up if you need to so top left top right bottom left uh but i'll just leave the default and then also show personal folder which is what's actually being shown now which is the home directory uh that's our home directory right there so now this is the fun part this is what i was talking about to kind of make it look like uh mac os so to speak but you can change up your dock location i remember before in older versions of gnome you actually had to install gnome extensions that would accomplish this for you now they actually have it built into this version of gnome where you can change the position of it uh you, and you can also put like like before i used to put like different docs on there to make it look a little different you know what i'm saying but they actually have one that's super cool uh so all you have to do is go down here to position and i'll go through these other ones above it uh but i want to change up the position first so you guys can check out how to do that so if you go to position on screen uh all you have to do is change it to bottom and it'll move your dock down to the bottom so now you got that full dock at the bottom you're good to go and another cool thing about it you could change the icon sizes so let's say you don't want these icons to be you know that size or so you can uh actually make them a little smaller so let's make them or put them down a little bit and 30 looks good to me uh because i can see it real well but that makes it look a whole lot better to me it gives you more space on your desktop and then you obviously can auto hide the dock if you want to uh, and so whenever you're working in the application, you'll have the full uh, desktop and you have to go down to the bottom to actually get it. And it might not work right on my uh, machine uh, because this is a virtual machine. So when my mouse goes down, it automatically goes off of the virtual machine. So the docking may not work for me properly or the auto hide, you know, to make it come up. But essentially you can auto hide your dock you know what i'm saying and that's super cool you know what i'm saying that'll allow you to you know get more space out of your desktop uh which is one thing i like to do i like to auto hide my stuff as well uh panel modes now you can make it a whole panel uh or you could turn this off and it'll actually shrink it to the size of the actual icons that you have posted here or your favorites that you have posted here as well as open applications and it'll grow as needed so if we click here uh it should make it like mac os so that's the second step to get it to make it look like a mac os and it'll grow as you open other applications like for instance um let's open up something that's not um Let's just open up something that's not highlighted here. Let's open up Shotwell. That's fine. Uh, you'll see Shotwell. Well, Shotwell was already there. I'm sorry. Let's open up something else. Uh, mine. But you'll see it add and it grows. Uh, as you can see, it grows the actual dock. So that's an awesome way of actually, you know, um, using the dock or modifying the dock so it looks a little better uh and then you can go back to the auto hide uh which you know it all depends on how you want it because you kind of lose uh, lose out on this real estate uh especially if you only have one screen uh because it'll adjust the applications based on your dock so it'll always be shown you know what i'm saying and then also show on this is just uh if you have multiple screens hooked up to your laptop or desktop uh then you can have it show only on the primary display or you can show it on all displays you know what i'm saying so either way uh that's just those options for you right there now under the configure dock behavior there are some more options 
uh, as you can see, show volumes in devices. So when you plug in a device, external device or something like that, included unmount, un unmounted volumes, including network volumes, you can show all that as well as your trash can. So you can turn that off if you want to, but uh, I typically recommend people leave it on. That way you can easily find your trash can. Uh, but also you can get to your trash can by actually going here and just clicking trash and it'll take you to the to your trash can you get to go or you could just click here and it'll open up right to the trash can so we get to go but those are some more options for the dock uh and i thought it was worth showing you guys this stuff because it's you know it's if you if you're new to it if you never played around with this stuff then it's kind of hard to know where everything is in order to make adjustments to it you know what i'm saying so let's press uh, the x button there and one other thing i wanted to show you guys was the background um because i know that's something that's new it comes with some pre you know installed background so you select what you want you can change it up if you want to like i like this with the green and i'm and uh that's you know that's super dope you know picture in my in my mind you know what i'm saying i actually like that picture it's super cool even though i like the you know the jellyfish you know it's super cool but i never been a fan of the color purple uh and so every year <laughs> that's one of the first things i change up whenever i install you buy to it they always have a purple background uh which i don't like purple at all uh but you know what i'm saying they always have some super cool pre you know uh installed uh backgrounds that you can change up on your system you know to make it look a look a whole lot better in my opinion and just to show you something a little more let's say you want to make changes to your mouse which is kind of hard for me to you know show you guys that but if you need uh to adjust your mouse settings then you can change it up right here uh by just going to mouse and touchpad if you got a touchpad uh primary button is the left for me uh some people use right uh but you can adjust the mouse speed so if you're moving it around and you want to adjust that you know what i'm saying then that'll you know you can make those changes there as well as the natural scrolling so scrolling moves the content not the view so that is basically scrolling through websites or scrolling through any applications that you have open you know it just adjusts that scrolling for you you know like what i'm doing with the ball uh you can adjust that as well and then another thing i wanted to kind of show you guys and this will be the last thing but you can add printers so if you got a printer on your um network and like i said i'm showing this i'm i'm basically doing a lot of this for my dad i know he has a printer at the house uh, most of you guys probably have a printer at the house that you use uh but as you can see it, it's already um seeing my printers on my network so as long as your printer is on your network it'll automatically see it i got two printers on my network um my the brother's one is like one of my one of my ones that's just black and white the hp is strictly for color or photos and stuff well you can add them they are automatically added them but you can add your printer if it's not showing up like here and they've gotten a whole lot better you know with linux as far as uh you know working with printers especially if you have, if you have a more modern printer you know it'll pretty much show up right away if you have it on your network it'll show up right away uh unless you're using you know um a little bit different linux distribution or hoarder distribution kind of like orch you know i've had trouble you know adding the printer and using certain features you know in linux but uh for ubuntu or let's say like pop os uh, most of the time the printer pops up right away uh, and it'll it'll find it on your network and add it to your list of printers now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys um, that's you know simple customization it's not that difficult to actually use uh, Ubuntu you know most people that use uh, Ubuntu or uh, Linux you know what I'm saying or most people that use computers in general they use a lot of uh, cloud apps and so you typically just trying to get to the internet so as long as you can get to the internet or set up your email using maybe Thunderbird or listen to a little bit of music and connect to a share drive or something uh, you can do all that using Ubuntu and it's also great to recycle 
older computers, which is exactly what my dad did uh, with the older laptop that uh, he actually installed it on. And he told me that it's running like super great. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's, it's, you know, it revived that actual system. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully this helps some of the people that are new to Linux. This will actually help you guys no matter what Linux distribution you're using. If it's using GNOME 42, uh, a lot of those settings are there. Well, all of those settings that I showed you that you can modify are there if you have GNOME 42. But please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, Keep it techie.